If just like me, you are nostalgic of the golden age of video games, you will understand the joy of playing original game software on their original hardware. It's a magical feeling, an experience like no other, a trip to another world. Prepare to travel in time. Join me in this retro dream. Of course you can always use an emulator to play any retro game. It's already a wonderful experience, but it's an incomplete one. If your aim is to try something you didn't play before, if you're from a younger generation and want to discover old games, then it doesn't really matter whether you play through an emulator or on the original environment. But if your goal is to retrieve the look and feel, then nothing can replace original devices. It's the same when you want to read a book that was always dear to you. What you want to experience is not only the purely intellectual satisfaction of the story, but also the look and the feel of the book itself that was your faithful companion through all these years. Its cover, its paper, its sweet imperfections. New books with glossy covers and neat printing on white paper are good, but I prefer old books even more, with their reassuringly used covers, their yellowing pages, and imperfectly printed letters. Playing on an emulator is like reading an ebook. You have the content, but not the package. And package was fully part of the game as we saw in our previous episode. Also, you missed the on-screen picture how it was intended to look like originally. As we saw previously, games developed for CRT screens don't look the same on an LCD. Then you miss the original input devices. It's not the same using a 35-year-old mouse as a modern one. It's not the same using some generic nameless gamepad as the infamous Navigator joystick. And finally, you miss the loading sequence. Your good old computer valiantly trying to read a tricky magnetic tape or disc. The noise of its drive fighting with uncertainty. The anxious wait and your patience rewarded at the end. Playing original video games is an experience like no other. It can hardly compare to anything else. Even if you take two situations that look similar, playing a computer game on a TV and watching this same TV for a movie, it's way different in terms of senses. Watching a movie appeals to your eyes and to your ears only. But playing a game on its original environment include more than that. It appeals to almost all of your senses. Computer hardware has its own look and sound, but it also has a feel and even a smell, and without them, your gaming experience remains incomplete. Everyone prefers watching on a modern display, a movie that they loved ages ago on its lousy VHS tape. Unless they're hopeless nerds or ultra-nostalgic like me, normal people don't want to use the original setup of the VHS when they have the possibility to watch in HD quality and its flawless picture because we're just talking image and sound improvement that actually brings you closer to the original cinema environment for which the movie was initially intended. In the case of video games, it's the contrary. Modern emulators take away the original environment. They are not an improvement, but a different way of doing. So, everyone, back to roots. Take the joystick. Use the ball mouse. Listen to the loading sounds. Shed tears of joy looking at those awesome intro screens. Travel in time. Recharge your memories. Be a child again. 
experience it all. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Bye for now, and in the meantime, have nice retro dreams.